Is Fiji on your travel bucket list? It was on Natalie Preddy's. It's on mine. <laughs> she joins us now with more on her trip that you took with your four and six year old sons. Yes, yes. So I left the little one at home. I wasn't doing that. But it's easy, easier to get there now than ever before. So for the first time in 14 years, there is a flight that goes directly from Vancouver to Fiji. So we flew Vancouver, I mean, Toronto, Vancouver, Vancouver, Fiji. It was fantastic okay so what so this is South Pacific how long of a travel time you, you recommend like stopping in Vancouver for a day or two absolutely so I I mean that was probably what I would have done differently gone to Vancouver and then taken a day or two and then done the flight to Fiji which is 11 and a half hours from Vancouver from to Vancouver to wow. Fiji so it is a mission it's really far it's almost <laughs> as far as Australia but you know what it is totally worth it and you can go any time of the year but it's really popular in their dry season, which is June to September. The island itself is gorgeous. Even there is lush rainforest and waterfalls. And we stayed at the Intercontinental for a few nights, and that is on Natadola Beach, which is one of the most beautiful beaches in the world. I think it was voted in the top 50. Okay. So gorgeous. There's lots of kids in the water because it's the water is warm and it's crystal clear and you can see all these colorful, beautiful creatures, creatures in the water. One funny story, it's my son held up, he goes, mommy, look at the shell, it's gorgeous. And then it started to move across <laughs> his hand. But you know, he screamed and I couldn't stop laughing, but it was those experiences in this, you know, shallow water for the kids. Um, and the most amazing part of it, I feel, is the people. This is a really, really unique destination. Here, a lot of indigenous traditions are still going on. And they teach you them. And they teach you them. And, you know, the children, as I was saying in the break, the kids were way more important than I was, which was fantastic. My boys had the most amazing time. We stayed at this resort called Nanuku, and we were welcomed. There's a welcome ceremony. Wherever you stay, there is a welcome ceremony. You are coming into their village, into their land and they have a kava ceremony. So there's a big bowl and they take the kava root and they mix it with water and, uh, you, and it's served. And the chief has to allow you into their village. Uh, and, that, and then after that, you chat, you get to know one another. They really, really focus on community and wellness. So, you know, we went to a village as well. We went to check out, an, you know, an actual village. And one man said to me, he said, you could go and you could become a CEO. You could, you know, start an airline. But when you come back to this village, you have your specific role. And there's respect for the elders. There's a respect for the children. Everyone has a part to play in and how we exist and I just thought that was so so beautiful and every interaction was filled with warmth and with happiness my kids learned so much we were there for a week and my oldest came home and was talking about the mangroves and how they're an important part of the ecosystem because sharks lay their eggs there <laughs> what? Oh my goodness. That's what, like amazing. They just wow. learned and took in so much. But everyone who has been there has said it is such a unique destination when you connect with the people, the land. Everyone seems to be in this harmonious bubble. And you know, you don't get that in a lot of destinations. Mm -hmm. Everyone really, really wants to see you happy and feel warm and welcome. This is the most enthusiastic I've ever heard you talk. And we've talked about a lot of destinations over the years, yeah. but it's just, I so want to go there now. Oh, and I, you would love it. The, the water, the, the things that you can discover, the different levels of coral, um, and again, just the people. Every resort, every um, tourist space offers something different, but you will always feel welcome. And they say uh, bula, which is hi, um, and vinaka is thank you. So, you know, they, they will always say, uh, hello and thank you. Bula Vinaka is good life. My son had his uh, fourth birthday there. Oh. And the celebration that they gave for him, everyone he in this never resort forget in that. Anuku, he will never, ever forget it. It was beautiful. Okay. It's fabulous, Fiji. <laughs> you want to go back. I you want to go back so bad. Back. Oh, my Natalie, goodness. Natalie, thanks so much for sharing your story. And we'll get all the details up on our website at chch.com. <laughs> <Thanks. laughs>